Luroy's Pokemon Black and White 2 Walkthrough, Part 48. What's up guys? Welcome to the Village Bridge, one of the six bridges here in the Unova region. And I'm actually a big fan of the Village Bridge, it's pretty cool. Um, it connects Route 12 and Route 11, ultimately bringing you to Opelousa City to get your next gym badge, but it's also cool because it's a town on top of a bridge, like you've got houses and everything, so it's pretty interesting. Um, there's no Pokemon Center, but if you come into this very first house, then you can talk to this lady, and uh, she'll perform her witchcraft on you and heal up your Pokemon while you rest. So yeah, I'll just take a little rest, know all your burns and freezes and paralysis is healed. So yeah, who knows how that actually works out, but yeah, she has a cool little Gothita in there as well. Um, or a Gotharita, actually. And yeah, let's go ahead and move along here once we're healed up, and once you find this guy in the middle of the bridge, he's gonna stop you. He's like, wait, wait, I've been waiting for this day, you're the 1,000th opponent! Yeah, does that mean I won a free prize or something? But he actually says he's won 999 games in a row, so he's ready to get his 1,000th consecutive victory. So yeah, we'll see about that, but dang, 1,000 battles in a row, you'd think you're at like level 100 by then. I mean, I've probably only had, like, what, a couple hundred battles this walkthrough, if that? I don't know. But he has a Durant to start off his team, which is... Actually, I don't think we've seen this Pokemon yet. It's a Steel and Bug type, with really high attack, high defense, and actually, surprisingly for a Steel type, really high speed as well. Um, Claydol really can't do a whole lot of anything to this. It only has one weakness, which is Fire type. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Lampent. Um, and Durant is actually four times weak to Fire, so... If you can manage to hit it with a fire attack, it's probably going down, but... Yeah, it's gonna go ahead and use Bug Bite there, not gonna do too much damage, and... That Crunch actually probably will do a good chunk. Um, yeah, almost gonna knock me out, um... Durant can have the Hustle ability, which boosts up its attacking moves by 50%, but at the same time, it costs 20% accuracy to get that boost, so... Yeah, a lot of times Durant can actually hit you really, really hard, especially with that Hustle ability. But anyways, I'm going to switch over to Pinsir here, just because of the fact that Lampin is almost dead. And Slayer can probably do a pretty good job of taking down this Lucario. Um, so yeah, he's got another Steel-type on his team. This one, a Fighting and Steel-type, so he's going to use Quick Guard! Oh no! Yeah, it's not really going to make a difference in a single battle, so... Brick Break should do a lot of damage there, and... Looks like one more, one more of those to knock it out. And he's gonna use Bone Rush. Yeah, that move is a ground type, can hit two to five turns, and it looks like he's gonna hit all five times. Wow, good thing it's not very effective, otherwise, that could have been bad. But that's gonna finish it off, and BAM! Your 999 game winning streak just got snapped! What are you gonna do about it, man? You shouldn't have challenged me. Should have gone to like the first route and took on some random youngster. But yeah, we get a ton of money for taking down Stonewall there, Stonewall Jackson! And his winning streak finally ended, so he's got nothing left to live for in his life and he's gonna jump off the bridge. No, I'm just kidding! He's not gonna jump off the bridge, um... But once you go on to the west side over here, you can go inside the second house and... You can actually do a battle inside here. So go ahead and talk to this baker in the middle of the home, and she's like, Oh, you're a newcomer, aren't you? Then let's battle without saying a word! Are you ready? And you know what, I actually kind of like that the people in the village bridge have at least some decency and respect to ask you if you want to battle. Like everyone else in the world is like, WE MADE OUR CONTACT, TIME FOR A FIGHT! Here they actually ask you yes or no if you want to battle apparently. Um, but Baker Chris is gonna send out a heat more. Probably uses that heat more to cook up its, you know, I don't know, cupcakes and cookies and all that stuff, but uh, heat more is a fire type Pokemon, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Dig here. That is super effective, and Heatmore is also kind of a, it's a newer Pokemon we haven't really been seeing. Um, it has really good attack and special attack, not really too hot on the defensive side, and not the fastest Pokemon ever, so it's mostly offensive based. And it's got the Gluttony ability, so it can actually um, use its Citrus Berry uh, sooner than most other Pokemon, but one more dig will finish this thing off, and... Yeah, let's take care of that now. Even my Voodoo is faster than Heatmore, which is actually kind of pathetic. Claydol definitely isn't the fastest Pokemon in the world, but... Good thing I dodged that Bug Bite there, because, um... Actually would have been a super effective attack, but... Yeah, we don't need to worry about it, because Heatmore is going down! And there we go, that's gonna get me up to level 39, which means I'm actually one level away from learning a new ground-type move, Earth Power, which... Actually, I'm pretty excited about. 
And I imagine a heat more would be a Durant's worst nightmare. It's like, not only is it an anteater, but it's a fire type, which is four times effective against you. Um, anyways, I'm actually, I'm not positive about this, but I'm pretty sure if you show this baker lady a combi, she'll give you lumberries. Now, I'm not positive about it, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. I know it's changed up a little bit from in the black and white game, where you had to do some other weird thing to get the lumberries, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. So anyway, I'm not completely sure about that, but I am pretty sure that you can find a PP up in the garbage right there. That's right, who is trying to throw away PP ups? I thought everyone liked getting their PP up. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah, that guitarist right there is one of the musicians in Village Bridge that will add some nice background music to the theme, so yeah, go ahead and check out his debut album on iTunes. No, I'm just kidding, he doesn't have a debut album. Don't go and look for it. Someone's probably already looking for it. Um, but yeah, we got some basketball players on the court here. We playing basketball. We love that basketball. Ball. Oh yeah, it's LeBron, and he's gonna challenge you to a triple battle! Yeah, LeBron couldn't win by himself, so he started doing triple battles with uh, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, but this guy's actually got two Magbees and a Magmar, so... Yeah, and actually the other guy has two Elekids and an Electabuzz, so... Pretty similar concepts here, um... Anyways, I'm basically gonna use Dig, Fly, and Surf! Yeah, it's always really nice having, um... Avian and Samurott there. Um, I like how I just, I call one of them by their nickname, one of them by their real name, but it's nice because I can use Fly and that way on Pheasant will avoid getting nailed by the Surf. And over on this side, Claydol's getting nailed by everything, like Fire Punch and Flamethrower, and I'm burned too, like geez, but. Um, yeah, this Surf is good to, gonna do a whomping amount to Magby and Magmar. Actually gonna knock out Magby and Magmar's almost down, so. Looks like we're in pretty good shape here. Um, Avian should be able to come down with the fly, finish that off, and the dig is gonna finish off that Magby, so... Even though my voodoo is, like, extremely burned and almost knocked out, I think we're gonna make it through this battle. So, yeah, let's go. And goodbye, Magmar! Adios! Cooling off that fire right there, and... Actually, voodoo's like, yo, man, speaking of cooling off, I'm on fire underground right now, but... He's gonna come up and finish off that Meg. Oh, he's actually not gonna finish up the Meg B. Well, dang it. Um, I guess that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm burned and my attack got split in half. I'm stupid, but. All right. Anyways, back to square one. Uh, Avian, you just go ahead and knock it out with the return. That should be enough. You're the fastest one on the floor, so these other moves are all irrelevant. And there we go. So. Yeah, there's a nice little triple battle for you, and jeez, the freaking burns are killing me right now! I can't have my whole team being, like, half attack, it's not fair. Um, alright, no one got up a level, though. What the hoops?! <laughs> what the hoops?! Who says that? Wow, what the hoops is going on? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna need to take a minute to heal up my Pokémon here. Alright, time to become the king of the cord after taking down this guy. He's like, you look pretty good, let's play some pickup. Yeah, I'm down. It's time for another triple battle, so make sure you have your team ready for a trio of electric types this time around. Um, I definitely changed up my team because I didn't want to have Samurott and Unpheasant in there since they're both weak to electric, so... Um, yeah, I kept Clayt all in though, and I brought in my Slayer, who... I'll go ahead and use Brick Break. A lot of times, um, Electabuzz likes to use Light Screen, so... Yeah, Brick Break will shatter that up, and then... Obviously, yeah, dig on Claydol, and Steely Dan, you can go ahead and use uh, Flash Cannon, just because, I don't know, you're not really that relevant offensively in this fight. Um, but yeah, he actually did put up a light screen, so that's perfect, my Brick Break will take care of that. And this Thunderbolt won't do hardly anything to Magnezone. So yeah. And BAM, look at that light screen get shattered like that! Yeah, don't let that glass get into your eyes, and a critical hit, but darn it, I got paralyzed by the static, so... Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. I had to deal with the exact same thing in the last battle with the burns. Now it's just going to be paralysis. But I got my attack boosted, which is awesome. It's perfect. And yeah, it's time for a dig. We're pretty much just playing some three-on-three -three right now, if you think about it. Three-on-three -three basketball with Pokemon. Only instead of basketball, we're just killing each other. Um, yeah, Flash Cannon didn't really do a whole lot. So, uh, yeah, Slayer, go ahead and use Brick Break. And, uh... That dig should do a good chunk. You know what, Steely Dan, just go ahead and use Thunder this time. Let's try that out for size. 
I don't know, might as well go for some crazy power since it's not very effective anyways. And bam, he just wants to keep setting up that light screen, so... And I guess he just wants to keep thunderbolting my, uh, Steely Dan also. Not very effective, but paralyzed again. Yeah, once again, I'm dealing with status issues for all my team members. Um, but... Oh, my thunder missed! But, bam, let's shatter up that light screen too! I like using that move just to see the light screen or reflect get shattered. I always think it looks awesome. And more moxie boosts, but, uh... Not really gonna make a difference, I'm too far away to even touch that Elekid, but check it out, I'm up at level 40, which means I'm learning Swords Dance! Now, ooh, this is actually kind of some bad timing because, um, I still haven't gone to delete the move Strength, and I can't get rid of HM moves, so I think what I'll do is, um, I'll get rid of Thrash for now, because I really want to have Swords Dance. Swords Dance is an awesome move, it boosts up your attack two levels, great for Pinsir. Um, but I still want to have Thrash later on in the game, so... I think I'll go back, delete Strength, and add Thrash again. Um, and now Voodoo's up at level 40 also, learning Earth Power, so... Two level ups to 40 with two brand new moves, pretty awesome. And I'm gonna forget Dig and teach Earth Power. Earth Power's a little bit more effective than Dig. Um, as in, you know, a little bit more powerful. It's a special attack rather than a physical attack. I'll show you guys right here. And, um... In addition, it's only at one turn, it doesn't take two turns to hit, so it's kind of nice. A little bit quicker, and um, still has 10 power points, so definitely a better move than Dig for Claydol. And check out the Earth Power! Pretty much looks like explosions coming up from under the ground, so... And I'll take care of that Elekid, and it would have been nice to see Steely Dan also get up to level 40 and learn a new move, but... No, I'm just not that lucky, aren't I? Alright, so, yeah, we got some new moves, and... Like I said, um, I'll have to go to the move deleter, get rid of strength, and then go to the move relearner and put thrash back on pincer. Um, for now though, let's actually switch up here. Um, I'm gonna put Samurott up to the front, because Samurott still needs to get up to level 40, he's only at level 39. And yeah, in the grass here, um, there's really nothing new, there's just a bunch of Pokemon we've seen earlier in the game. So don't worry about it too much, there's an Ultra Ball right there, unless you wanna, in case you wanna catch any of those Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna wait for this guy to run around the grass. Are you gonna come at me or what, man? There we go, youngsta. Youngsta battle, I just keep running around. I've got a whole field to myself. Whole field full of, you know, Sviper, Zangoose, Pokemon like that. And youngster Carl's got a Sand Slash of his own, so... Yeah, this will be pretty easy for Samurai, considering it's a ground type Pokemon. We've actually been seeing a lot of first-generation Pokemon. We had a Magmar, an Electabuzz, and now a Sand Slash, but, uh... Yeah, Surf should take care of it. And, um, Samurott is another Pokemon that I actually also need to go back to, um, the Move Relearner because I need to get, uh, Megahorn on him for the Heart Scale. That'll help out a lot. And I'm at level 40 just like I wanted, so... Yeah, that's my next goal right now, is to get everyone up to level 40. Um, always nice to get up the next set of 10. Makes my team look a whole lot stronger, and and check it out, we've got some shaking grass right here, so, um, yeah, I'm not really too interested, though. Instead, I'm just gonna go to this super secret, hidden, unknown room under the bridge, and check it out, there's just a girl sitting in here, and she's practicing her singing! Oh my god, it's Susan Boyle! Susan, what are you doing under the bridge? And she notices you, runs over, she's like, eek! Get out, get out, get out, I'm practicing! What are you doing? Do you have no respect? I guess not, so she's gonna shove you out of the room. Um, but actually what you can do now, after that, it seems kind of random, you're probably just like, what the heck was that all about? Um, but there's actually a little follow-up to that, so... If I can manage to get out of the grass here... Yeah, nice job. If you go to the bridge and go right above that point, um, you're gonna see a lady just standing over the edge. Go ahead and talk to her, and she says that she hears something a little bit sad, and she thinks it might be a ghost, like, no, it was just the girl singing down there, don't worry about it. She's like, oh, thank you, here are some citrus berries. I mean, dang, if she thought that was a ghost down there, that must be some pretty awful singing. Yeah, some pretty wicked bad singing right there, if you think it's a ghost trying to haunt the whole bridge, but... Yeah, let me stop over here and heal again. I wonder if this person gets annoyed, like, jeez, let me be at peace for once, stop coming over and trying to get your Pokemon healed. Probably people lining up at her door to get healed up for free. Um, but yeah, there we go, I got all those paralysises healed. What that paralysis is, however you say that? All my paralysises are healed! Um, alright, now on this side you actually have a tennis court, so... 
Let's see, Samurai, you got up to level 40. I think it's time for Unpheasant to get up to level 40. Yeah, you're still at level 39. Plus, not to mention these uh, tennis girls use grass types, so that'll be a perfect matchup. Now let's go! I don't know why the tennis players are just running back and forth. My serve is 120 miles per hour! Dang, that's like, that's like almost a world record. I'm pretty sure um, Venus and Serena Williams have the fastest female serve with about... It's like 128, 129 miles per hour, so 120 isn't too bad. Um, she's got a Whimsicott on her team, so also a fast Pokemon. Probably just as fast as her serve in tennis. And gonna use Gust on me, but this fly will take it out pretty easily. So yeah, grass types don't really stand a chance against Avian. And I didn't realize I was that close to level 40, I'm actually just like a tiny little sliver away. But man, I guess this trainer must be all about her speed, she even used Tailwind also. Yeah, using Tailwind to try to make yourself serve faster, you think that's gonna fly? No, only my Unpheasant's gonna fly, all the way up to level 40. Alright, there we go. So we've got one more tennis player on the other side of here. Who also apparently doesn't know how this sport goes, just keeps running back and forth. You can find some Carbos right there by the bench. And you'd think they'd be like hitting a tennis ball back and forth or something. Nope, just sprinting side to side. Have you ever seen anyone doing that? Like, what if you actually saw two tennis players just sprinting back and forth on both their sides of the net? It'd probably look pretty ridiculous. Um, but yeah, here's the matching grass type, Lilligant. So yeah, Avian should have just as easy of a time taking this thing down with a fly as well, so let's go ahead and do that. And Quiver Dance is one move that's really insane on Lilligant. It boosts up its special attack, its special defense, and its speed. Yeah, pretty insane move right there. Boosts up three actually really, really useful stats. So, I mean, and there it goes again with the Quiver Dance. Yeah, that thing actually can be um, really threatening if it gets up a lot of those Quiver Dances. It's like a Calm Mind with an extra speed boost. It's, pretty, it's a pretty cheap move almost. Not really cheap. Really smart to have in battle, but... A little bit overpowered in my opinion. Anyways, yeah, it's gonna get me up to level 41, so already past the level 40 mark. Looks like Avian's growing pretty well. It's pretty easy too, and I don't have the experience share on Lampids anymore, and plus the opposing Pokemon are at a higher level, which gives me even more experience, but yeah, you can go ahead and surf underneath the water, underneath the bridge, and if you come up here, actually, I believe there's another trait. Ooh, darn it, I forgot to switch out to a different Pokemon, but whatever. A high-level battling technique is art in its own way! And this is actually an artist right here. So there we go, Artist Go! It's like Van Gogh! I wonder if he cut off his own ear, too! Um, but oh, he's got a Sunflower, so this will actually, um, be perfectly fine for Avian here, so... Yeah, let's take down another Grass-type Pokémon, I'm loving this. Let's go with another Fly. And, um, yeah, this guy's actually on the opposite side from those basketball players, so in addition to the main bridge, you have the northern area and the little southern area, with items scattered all about, but... Actually, there's nothing that requires you from doing all these things inside the village bridge. You can actually just go straight across to, um, the next route and make it to Opelucid City. All this is just for extra training. Um, and actually, we got another musician right here. So now he's gonna add some nice flute, so yeah, it's pretty nice. And at least I think it's flute, otherwise, I don't know, maybe it's piccolo or clarinet or something, but you actually can find a rare candy over there, which is pretty nice. Um, and I'm gonna bring out my dowsing machine. I'm feeling there's some items over here. And BAM! We found a big mushroom! Alright. A big mushroom, or is it just a shroomish? Nah, it's just a big mushroom. Now anyways, let's surf over here. We've actually got a little island over here. We can go and grab an item on really quick. Let's go ahead and do that, and... I don't know if you guys spotted that rippling water back there, um, but you can actually find Lapras in the rippling water. That is a brand new Pokemon over here um, when you're surfing in the village bridge. It's really rare to find, so don't count on it, but you can find Lapras. That was not a Lapras. It can only be found in the rippling water. Um, but yeah, so oh, there's some more rippling water, so I guess, you know, there's a lot of them that pop up, but... It's pretty tough to find it. You got a heart scale over there. Found a big pearl up there as well. And let's go ahead and switch out to Magnazone for the Fisherman because, um, believe it or not, Magnazone is my only Pokemon that's not at level 40, which is kind of strange considering the fact that Magnazone was my highest level for a long time. But I guess I did a pretty good job of um, holding him back for a while, getting everyone else caught up. So, yeah, Magnazone should be able to take down this Basculin pretty well. And if you recall, I did teach him Thunder 
in the last episode via TM, so let's go ahead and destroy this Vaspion completely. Send him to Long John Silvers with a Thunder here. Um, but yeah, I, I taught Blizzard to my Samurott, Thunder to my Magnazone, and Fire Blast to my, um, my Lampin, so... Yeah, I get some pretty powerful moves on my team. And that Thunder destroys it. Aqua Tail actually did a lot of damage, so good thing I didn't miss with Thunder, otherwise I actually wouldn't have won the battle. But Steely Dan's gonna get up to level 40, so there we go! All my team members are all the way up at level 40, which means we're finally ready to peace out of Village Bridge and head towards Opelucid City. Probably ready to get that next gym badge about this time. So, uh, yeah, let's surf back over here, and next up we're gonna have to go through one little small route. Um, one little small route, and it's not gonna be that hard, we're just gonna have a few trainers. Let's grab this item, by the way. My dowsing machine is going off. Where are you? I- ooh! Ah! Yes, I found it! That's a Max Aether, alright. Alright, I think that's gonna wrap things up over here in the Village Bridge, so next time we're gonna be heading out west to Route 11, and SPOILER ALERT! It's a very awesome, rare Pokémon to find over there, so stay tuned for more. Alright, one quick thing here before we upload this video. Let's go ahead and grab this red shard right here. Just kidding, it's a blue shard! I'm colorblind, I'm sorry.